The Bantus. Mijikenda. Hmm. Thanks, Doctor. So, the Mijikenda gave the Akamba cowries, which I believe they collected from the beach. This must have taken place in a market center. I'm guessing, anyways. Yes. Since the Mijikenda had the Swahili influence from the Arab traders, they were weekly market set up to trade their traditional wine called mnazi, pottery, and beans, as well as arrows. They traded with the Akamba, as we discussed earlier. This was to get inland items such as ivory, iron tools, and hides. Yes, of course, I remember that. We just discussed it. And if they made and sold arrows, were they for the enemies or animals? Uh, both. But mainly for animals. They hunted wild pigs and even deer and buffalo. They also had the advantage of being able to fish and get food from the Indian Ocean. There was livestock kept, but it was more ceremonial and on a smaller scale. What do you mean? What I mean is that cattle were a great sign of wealth and only slaughtered for special reasons, such as paying a dowry for a wife. Since cattle leather was not as plenty, boys wore a simple cloth and girls wore a skirt called handle. But since they had access to beads and shawls, the married women wore many beaded necklaces and strings and were even tattooed. So they relied on farming, trade, and hunt. Correct. Growing items such as coconut, maize, beans, and potatoes. Each clan had farming land outside the Kaya. Kaya? Oh yes, I forgot to explain. And I forgot to ask you where they came from. All right, all right. They are nine groups that came from between Mount Kilimanjaro and the Tai Ta Hills. What makes each clan a little bit different is the time when they migrated to the coastal area. So, you explain Kaya. Hmm. I am glad you remember there were nine clans. Now, the Kaya was the village that each group lived in and protected. This was the central point of the group, not so much of the family. I see. I see, Dr. Griffin. And what made the Kaya so special then? Because it was built for protection and in the forest. It had thorns around the outside to protect from invaders and very strong walls and doors to protect the members of the village. Sounds hard to break into. That is the point. The forest was very important to them since they lived and got resources like food and medicine called Fingo from A. This made them come up with customs such as not wearing shoes or hats in the forest to show respect. You said Fingo. What's Fingo? Fingo was buried at the entrance of homes to keep evil spirits away. Hmm. Must have been herbs and other small items. Mm. Now, didn't they have prayer also to ward off evil spirits? Well, it goes hand in hand with the Fingo. They had a god, Mulungu. Their ancestral spirits were Koma. They prayed to both at the shrine called Mizimu at dusk and dawn, and also whenever hard times came upon them, such as hunger and diseases. Sacrifices were given at the shrine as well. What would happen to those who died from the hunger and diseases? Good question. They were buried within the Kaya by the males, and a period of mourning went on, depending on how old the person who died was. So age did matter. So were the age set systems in place? Yes. There was a composition ritual being every four years. This was your group for life. Until you became elders? Would be a shame if you didn't like anyone in your group. Yes, 
you had to find a way to get along, I suppose. Since the Kaya was the center, the clans did not have a too complex political system. Not like the Amuru, with the somewhat political parties? Correct. There was a council of elders, though. The Kambi, who elected one of them to be the head. He basically had all the power when it came to crimes and judgment. He sought advice from his council, but had the final say. Seems straightforward enough. But why are we talking so much about Eastern Bantus anyways? What about our neighbors, like the Western Bantus? Oh, you are eager to keep going. All right, all right. Let's take a break. I need some Majibaridi from all this talking. Eager to talk about the Nihilate section. Yeah. <laughs> 